Moments ago, a young boy asked me a question here in this particular masjid after salah. A beautiful question related to how his weakness overtakes him now and again. And I said, you know what? Keep on doing good. Keep on increasing your good. And every time you falter, go back to the good. Do not let it distract you from your good deeds. I tell you why. Because your iman is strengthened with your good deeds and it becomes weakened with your bad deeds. So if you have a bad habit, the way to deal with it is to increase your good habits. That's how you deal with it. Some people are hooked onto pornography. And sadly, this is the scourge of the age. It is a disease that we need to talk about. It is something that affects not only your brain, but your entire system is affected by looking at that which is haram. When the Prophet ﷺ has instructed us and the instruction comes from Allah to lower the gaze, it is because it's supposed to help our spirituality, our calmness, our contentment. We exert all our energies and channel them in the right direction. The minute you look at the wrong things, you exert this beautiful power that you have and whatever energies you have into the wrong direction. And so what will happen? You will pay for it at some stage. This is what we always say. The way out of that is to engage in tawbah, ask Allah's forgiveness, and at the same time, increase your good deeds. So if you fulfill your salah together with the sunnah, together with the nafila, and you take your time in the masjid, believe me, it will protect you from so much of evil. If you are a person who loves to fulfill their salah in the masjid, to come on time, to fulfill your wudu, to read your sunnah, believe me, it is a fact when Allah says, إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ تَنْهَا عَنِ الْفَحْشَاءِ وَالْمُنْكَرِ Salah prohibits a person or stops a person or prevents a person from that which is immoral and evil. It is a fact. Believe me, try it. Read your salah properly. Leave your heart hanging in the masjid as the hadith makes mention of the seven categories of people who will be earning the shade on the day of Qiyamah. One of them is رَجُلٌ قَلْبُهُ مُعَلَّقٌ بِالْمَسَاجِدِ A person, a man, whose heart is hanging or is stuck in the masjid. He, when he comes out, he's asking himself every, when am I going back? When is the next salah? That's his concern. How will that person be able to engage in haram and be able to engage in that which displeases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? 